We're here next to the 10th hole at Enjoy Golf Course in Endicott, New York. Eric has to hit the ball over a tree in order to get onto a green. He selected a club where he knows the path of the ball is going to follow the equation h equals negative 16x squared plus 64x. And he needs to know, will that ball clear the tree? Okay, here's the diagram of Eric hitting the ball over the tree. Here's our situation. We have Eric over here. He's got a little beard, so we've got to put that in. He's trying to hit over that tree, and that tree is 60 feet tall. 60 feet tall. He also selected a club where he knew the equation that the ball would follow would be h equals negative 16x squared plus 64x. Now, because this is a parabola, what we're going to really need to do here is we're going to need to find how high the vertex of this parabola is. And in order to do this, the first thing we're going to have to do is we're going to find, have to find where the axis of symmetry is. And the axis of symmetry, x, is given by negative b over 2a. In this case, this negative 16 is the a part of the equation, and the 64 is the b part. So what we're going to do is we're going to plug those values in and get negative 64 over negative 16 times 2. And that's going to come out to negative 64 over negative 32, which is 2. Now we have a value for x that we can plug into the equation, so now we can find out how high the ball will actually go. So we're going to say h equals negative 16 times 2 squared plus 64 times 2, substituting that value in. Well, 2 squared is 4, so it's going to be negative 16 times 4 plus 64 times 2 is 128. Negative 16 times 4 is negative 64 plus 128. And when we add those two values together, we get 64 feet. So what this means is that the ball went 64 feet high, which was just enough to clear the 60-foot tree. Nice shot, Eric. I guess that was the right equation after all.